Hello all, welcome to my channel. I will develop the application like this. For example, if user enter any text over here, for example, the text is Atmiya University. And whenever user click on set text, then the text will be set over here. That is in a text view. And whenever user choose the color, for example, red, then the red color will be set to the text color. And whenever user choose the size, for example, 30, then the font size will be increased. And if user change the color, for example, blue, then the blue color will be available over here. And if you just change the text, then the text will be changed over here. So let's do the same thing practically. First of all, you can just click on create new project. Here you can select the empty activity and you can click on next. Here you can just give the name of your application. I'm giving the name of my application is Spinner Text View, Edit Text and Button Demo. Here you can just select the language. My language is Kotlin and you can click on Finish. Once the Gradle build is done, you can just minimize this project explorer and you can click on activity main.xml file. Here you can just click on split and here you can just click on show system user interface. You can just simply remove this text view. Now I want the text view over here in the top portion. So you can just select the text view and here you can just move drag and drop the text view. Now I want the edit text to set the text. So you can just click on text and you can select the plain text and you can just move drag and drop over here. You can just rename the name of the edit text if it is required. I'm just giving the name of this edit text is my text. So my text is the name of this edit text. And here you can just give the hint to the user that enter any text. So this is my hint that enter any text. Whenever user enter any text over here and whenever user click on the button, let me put the button over here and that button is, that is set the text. So whenever user click on this button, I want to set the text into this text view. So here you can just do what? You can just rename the text and the name of the text is set text. Now, whenever user click on this set text, I want to set the text that is entered by the user into this edit text that I want to set into this text view. Now, I want the two another control and that is a spinner, one for the set color and another for the set text size. So, let me put here some distance between all the controls. So whenever the size of the text view is increased, it doesn't make any difference. That is the reason why I'm just moving the drag and drop. I'm just setting all this control. Now here you can take the spinner. So spinner is available in the category that is containers. Here in the containers, the spinner is available. So you can just move drag and drop the spinner over here. Whenever you move the spinner, it will occupy the full space that is the full width but you can change the width here you can just say that the width is for example 170 dp and you can simply drag and drop over here now you can take one more spinner so let me just move drag and drop the spinner over here now again you can just simply change the width. For example, 160 is the width of this spinner. Now you can just simply move drag and drop this spinner over here. Now once it is done, you can click on any control and you can click on infer constraint. So all these three arrows will be removed. So you can just click on infer constraint. And whenever you click on infer constraint, you will be able to see that here the error is removed. Now what I want to do, whatever the user enter over here, the text that I want to set into this text view. So you can just move to your main activity dot Kotlin file. This is the coding file. Now I need the text view. So I'm just declaring the variable and that is well 
TV is equal to find view by ID. Here you can cast it to text view and you can write r dot id dot text view. The same time I need the added text, so I'm just writing here ed1 is equal to find view by id. You can cast it into edit text r dot id dot my text. So my text is the edit text. I need the variable and that is button. So I am writing here variable b1 is equal to find view by id. And the, I'm casting into the button r dot id dot button. Now whenever user click on the button, I want to get the text from the edit text and I want to set it into text view. So you can take this variable as a well because we are not making any modification into this variable. So you can declare it as a well. Now whenever the user click on the button, I want to get the text. So you can call the function button one dot set on click listener. Whenever the button is clicked, I want to get the text from the edit text and I want to set it into text view. So you can just write tv dot set text and you can get the text from edit text. So you can write ed1 dot text dot to string. Now you can simply run this particular application. Whenever you run this, you will get the output on the emulator. Now here you will be able to see that, for example, whenever I enter the text, for example, Atmir University, and let me click on the set text. See here, Atmi University is available over here. For example, if I'm writing that Parag, and if I click on set text, then Parag is available over here. Now I want to set the color of this text view, but that I want to select from this spinner. So how we can set the data into this spinner? So it is very simple. You can just move to your project explorer. Here you can just click on resource and here you can click on values and here you can click on strings.xml file. Here in strings.xml file, you can declare the array. So you can write here array. Name of the array is, for example, color and I want the item of the color. So for example, color is red color is black, color is green, color is blue. At the same time, I want the size also. So I'm just copying this and I'm pasting over here. So now my array name is size. Now, I want to write here first item and that item is choose a size. At the same time, you can just copy and you can write over here that the choose color. Now, size is integer. So here we can write that the size is, for example, 20, 25, for example, 30 and 35. These are the four size. But this is my array containing the string and integer both. So you can cast this into string. So you can write here double quote. So whenever you write double quote, your value will be converted into string. Now I want to load this array that is a size into spinner number two. And I want to load the this particular array that is color into spinner number one. So you can just move to your activity main.xml file. You can just select your spinner and here in a spinner, you can use the property and that property is entries and here you can just select your color. So choose color will be available over here. Same way you can just move to your spinner too and you can use the property entries and you can choose size. Now you can simply run your application. So here, whenever you run this particular application, you will be able to see that choose a color. See here, red, green, black, blue is the option available over here. And here the option is 20, 25, 30, 35 and that. Now, whenever user enter the text over here, for example, Atmir, and whenever user click on set text, definitely I'm getting the text. But now whenever user click on, for example, blue, then I want the blue text color over here. 
and whenever users select the font for example 35 then I want to increase the size so it is very simple you can just move to your main activity dot Kotlin file now I need the ID of the spinner so what we can write very simple we can write here variable sp1 is equal to find view by id and you can cast it into spinner so you can write here r dot id dot spinner now whenever the any item of the spinner is selected so you can call the function spinner one dot on item selected listener now i need the anonymous method of the on item selected so you can just write here object and you can select the anonymous class now I want to write the class over here and that is what on item selected listener so whenever you press enter you will get here that is adapter view dot on item selected listener just put the cursor on object and press alter enter and you will get the option that implement members just to select that implement members and select both the method that is on item selected and on nothing selected and click on okay now whenever the item is selected what you want to do i want to set the text color so here we can get the position of our text and that is which color is available at the which position so let me select the position for example variable position is equal to spinner dot selected item position and here you can use the van close it is like a switch case in java so you can just pass your position and here you can say that if it is a position number one index is starting from zero but if it is a zero then choose color option is there but if it is a one then i want to set the red two then black three then green and four then blue so here you can write that if it is a one then text view dot set text color and here you can write color dot red you can simply copy this now whenever you get the red sign over here you can just press alter enter and you can import that particular class so color class will be imported you can just copy this you can paste four times now if it is an option number two then i want to set the color that is black so you can select the color black here you can select the color for example green and here you can select the color and that is blue same way i want to do the same thing in a size so this my spinner code is close over here you can just simply copy this particular portion and you can paste over here now i'm talking about the spinner number two so here you can write spinner two this is sp2 and here you can write sp2 if position number one then i want to set the text size and the size is 20. so instead of function text view dot set text color we need to call the set text size and here we can pass the size for example size is 20f so it means that it will set the 20 font and f for float why because the text size function taking only font size in a float here you can just copy this and you can paste it four times now this is the font 25 30 and 35 if it is an option number two then it is a 25 three then 30 and four then 35 now you can simply run this particular code and whenever you run this you will get the output in a emulator see here i am getting the output over here for example let me write here that is the atmir and whenever you click on set text your atmir text will be available over here now whenever you choose the color for example blue then blue color is available over here and whenever you change the size for example 25 let me make it here 30 and let me make it here for example 35 so size is changed and whenever you change the color for example green and whenever you change the color for example red and whenever you change the size for example 30 and you will be able to change the text also for example Atmiya University for example if I am changing the text and the 
text is for example parag shukla and i'm writing here that dr parag shukla and if you set the text you will get dr parag shukla here and if you change the color you will get the color here and if you change the font you will get the font here so this is the way you can implement the spinner text view edit text and button so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day